Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As promised, we are back with another trendy DIY choker video. And also, guys, there is one surprise for you in the end of the video. So do stay tuned. Without any further ado, let's get started. So for the first one, you're gonna need thin laces like these, some gemstones. We are taking these ones. Jewelry kit which we got from Amazon. We'll provide the link down below. Measure the length of your neck. Ours came out to be 13.5 inches. So you can either go with 13 exact if you are using push buttons. But if you add chains in the end, you can reduce couple of inches from the lace. Now using the nail polish, stick the gems on alternate lace sections. Hold the gems in place for 10 seconds and keep on doing it till very end. Once done, since we really like this technique, we made one more with different gems. Now we are taking these items, two ribbon clips, one chain, one lobster clasp and two rings. Attach the chain to one clasp and so hook to another using rings as medium. Then attach these pieces to the lace end and you are done. one we are taking this metallic lace basically it's called as gota a keychain ring measure the gota at about 10 inches and cut two such pieces then fold them in half and cut them So that we get 4 pieces with 5 inch length. Now take a large ribbon crimps and take 2 5 inch ribbon pieces and place them on the ends of the ribbon crimps and close them using a plier. Now do it on the other remaining 2 pieces as well so you'll get something like this. Do the exact same thing to the other ends of the ribbon as well so that you have 2 such pieces. Now we are going to use 2 rings, insert 1 ring to 1 ribbon crimp hole and insert it in the key ring as well and then close it. Do this with the other piece of gota as well so that you get a choker something like this. Now to close the choker it has the ending chains and the lobster hook to the ends of the choker and you're done. So for the next one you're gonna need a black medium sized thread, some golden beads and two tassels. First insert two beads or more according to your choice into the thread. Now I'm taking random length for this one. Basically it should be more than double your neck measurement. Tie two tassels to the both the ends of the thread and simply wrap it around your neck and you are done. Now for this one, you're gonna need one zipper with golden or silver zip to make this one look classy. Now since this zipper can be opened, just do that. You can do this with any metallic zippers you get out there. Now then, since we don't want the zip hook in our choker, we're gonna remove it by cutting one end of the zipper and then removing it from that side. Now all you have to do is place the two separate pieces of the zipper overlapping each other like this. Now you can either use fabric glue or you can stitch it together.
now here i'm doing just a basic straight stretch which is very easy and convenient to use and it's pretty durable as well once done lock this stitching close the ends like we did previously and you're done so for this one you're gonna need a velvet ribbon like this measure it to your neck size and cut it then divide it into half Now I'm taking this rakhi piece which has jewelry chain in the center and I'm going to just cut it out. Now moving on, attach a small size ribbon crimp to one end of the ribbon and tighten it using a plier. Do it on both the ribbon pieces. Once done, take a jump ring and insert it in ribbon crimp hole and then to the jewelry end hole and secure it with the plier. Do it to the other side as well. Once done, it should look something like this. Now close the choker like we did in previous one and you are done. For this one, you're gonna need a thin ribbon like this. Now you're also gonna need two cha uh, chain pieces. Measure it through your neck length and cut it. Cut the chain piece to the exact same length as well. Cut two such pieces. Now take a large ribbon crimp and attach chain, ribbon and then chain one by one respectively like shown. Once done, your end of the choker should look something like this. Do the exact same thing to the other end of the choker as well. Now we added two golden rings to secure the chain with the ribbon so that it doesn't fall down. And then close the choker as usual and you're done. So for this one, you're gonna need a broad lace, a gold plain chain. Now cut the lace length and start inserting the gold chain from one hole to another, creating an upside down loop. So in this, you're gonna need a lace which has smaller holes in the middle of the lace. Once done, it should look something like this. Now we're gonna attach golden gungru in the center of the choker. So close the choker and you are done. Now for this one you're gonna need a medium sized thread, a cute button with two holes in it. Insert the thread from one hole first and then take other end of the thread and insert it through the second hole. Now again in this we took a random length of the thread like we did before. Now pull the ends of the threads out and tie the knots on both the ends. Now, 
Adjust the choker according to your choice and you're done. So for this one we again using a zipper but one only one part of it. Chain to match the zipper and a tiny bow. Some golden jump rings and that's it. Now start by inserting the one end of the chain in the jump ring and then insert that jump ring in the bow and secure it with the plier. Now stitch the bow in place on the zipper side. Now take the another jump ring to the other side of the zipper and insert in it. Then insert the other end of the chain into the ring and close it and you are done. For this last one, you're gonna need a wool color of your choice. We took off white here. Cut nine equal strands of it, making sure that it's longer than your neck measurements. Now, once you have all the nine strands, make someone hold them for you from one and start braiding them in a usual way by taking three strands as one strand so that it can look thicker and fuller. If you want, you can go for more strands as well. Once you're done braiding them and you have reached your neck measurement, tie the ends in knots to secure the braid in place. Cut excess wool and close the ends of the choker with tiny ribbon crimps and you're done. So for our little surprise, since many of you guys asked if we can sell the chokers, from our previous videos so we have finally decided to do that so if you want any of these designs or from the previous choker video or any of your customized design just leave the comment down below so that we will know if you guys are interested so that's it for today's video guys we hope you liked it if you did don't forget to hit that like button share with your friends and also subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell button which is just beside the subscribe button and that's it uh, thank you so much for watching guys see you in our next video bye